to do the same thing. Are there any special skills they need? Oh, absolutely. Now, while they can have a good tennis arm or a good golf swing, what really would be great is if they played polo. A you... polo player? I got a polo player. No, I'm not kidding. Vincent Chase, Dave Poland, come on up here. What you want to do is hold it like this and go with the bow end. Yes, you have to hold it. That's right. You're going to start here and you're going to aim for this neck and slice it right off. Come on. Oh. Can I get a one, two, three? Whoa. One, two. two. I'm Christy Nonswalker, and I'm known as the Wine Diva, and my new book is called What Else? Secrets from the Wine Diva. It contains practical tips that'll save you time, money, and aggravation, but it also contains some colorful historical anecdotes. Listen to this one. When Napoleon would go through France to go through every other country that he conquered in Europe, he would give, as a signal honor to all his cavalry officers on the battlefield, a bottle of champagne. Now, in those days, champagne was only enjoyed at the courts of kings, czars, and emperors. So this was a big deal to get a bottle of champagne. So what they did on horseback was take out their military sabers like this and slice off the top. And I'm going to attempt it. Now, I'm not a 200-pound cavalry officer with 30 battles under my belt, but let's see. Wow! Fantastic! Look, and the cork and the neck completely sliced off and are 30 feet away.